Okay, hi there, welcome to a micro video. Let's spend a couple of minutes looking at the growing number of businesses and organizations that operate as member-owned and run cooperatives. And cooperatives are a different form of business organization to conventional firms. They are owned and run by their members. And those members could be customers, uh, they could be employees, or indeed they could be a cluster of businesses. So uh, the best known example is probably the cooperative group, uh, in commonly known as the co-op, that has a diverse range of retail services from, the, from food retail uh, to insurance and funeral care. And it was also, I think, the first uh, retailer actually to put for, push forward and champion fair trade products. All of foods and credit unions, also good examples. We'll come to those in a second. The key point is that cooperatives are run on different principles. Those principles are shared ownership, shared voice, and crucially, shared profits. The Supermarkets and Funerals Group, the co-op, is the biggest cooperative in the UK, but another really good example is the John Lewis Partnership, which includes Waitrose. Uh, farmers co-ops are popular in the UK. Isle of Foods is essentially a cooperative uh, group of producers. And you can apply the cooperative principles to things like community pubs, where the local members of a community decide to run perhaps a pub that was under threat of closure, support a run football clubs, community interest clubs, and many foster care and local childcare providers might be run as a cooperative. Credit unions also becoming more popular in the UK. There's the co-op group's uh, funeral care operating profits. It's a, you thought funeral care was a dying business, but in fact... The co-op funeral business, which is the biggest in the UK, makes an operating profit of well over £1 million a week. Credit unions are really interesting. So credit unions have been in the news recently in terms as a possible alternative to borrowing money from payday lenders or commercial banks. Credit unions are a loans and savings cooperative regulated in the UK by the Financial Services Authority. And typically they're created by a community or a group who want to provide uh, lower cost finance, particularly to vulnerable groups who might otherwise have to pay very high rates of interest on any unsecured credit. Members of credit unions normally have to have a common bond, something that holds them together. That could make, uh, could be a place of location, it could be membership of a church, for example. Indeed, in the United States, as we see from this chart, the number of people in credit unions has grown very quickly. Uh, it's grown to nearly 120 million people are members of one or more credit unions. So this is a great example to use of the rise of the cooperative principle in the financial sector. So there we go. A couple of minutes looking at cooperatives as a form of business organisation.